Hello again. I'm going to show you in this example how to apply the chain rule using the Leibniz notation. We are already familiar with these two notations, Lagrange and uh, Leibniz, but in particular when you apply the chain rule, I think it's important to see how to apply the chain rule using the Leibniz notation as well. For the first example, I'm going to take y equals to minus square root of u, where u is the expression 3x squared minus 5x plus 2, an expression in regards to x. And what you need to determine here is dy dx. You notice how y is in regards to u, while u is in regards to x. Therefore, to determine the derivative of dy dx, using the Leibniz notation, it's equal to dy du times du dx. So, in other words, as long as we calculate dy du and du dx separately, we can calculate our final result for dy dx. So let's do just that. I'm going to start with du dx, which is nothing else than d dx of the expression for u, we have it above, is 3x squared minus 5x plus 2. And a derivative such as this is very simple, we know how to calculate, it's going to be 6x minus 5. The other expression, dy du, is going to be d du of, replace y with its expression in regards to u, which is minus square root of u. That negative sign, it's basically minus 1, so it's a constant multiple, which can come out in front of the derivative, so it's going to be minus d du of u at power 1 by 2, because as we know, roots are always uh, better expressed as powers in order to differentiate. So now, applying the power rule for this expression, we're going to have minus the power 1 by 2 times u at power 1 by 2 minus 1, which is minus 1 by 2, times the derivative ddu of u, which, as we know, it's going to be 1. So the result of uh, dy du is going to be minus 1 by 2 u at power minus 1 by 2. And u at power minus 1 by 2, we're going to make the exponent positive by putting this expression in the denominator of the fraction and the rational exponent 1 by 2 is nothing else than the square root so that's why I'm writing square root of u in the denominator now we are ready to uh, determine dy dx minus 1 over 2 square root of u times the other expression we found it was 6x minus 5 of course we have to replace this u with its expression in regards to x so we're gonna have minus 6x minus 5 over 2 times uh, square root of 3x squared minus 5x plus 2. And this is our final result. Let's consider one more example in which we're going to apply the chain rule using the Leibniz notation. This time I'm going to consider y to be equal to u at power minus 2, where u equals to 3x squared minus 2x. And what we're going to determine this time is going to be the value of the dy dx when x equals to 1. The approach is going to be exactly the same like before. So, as we know, in Leibniz notation, dy dx equals to the product between dy du times du dx. And I'm going to evaluate these uh, smaller derivatives separately, just like before. I'm going to start with du dx. This is d dx of the expression for u is 3x squared minus 2x, and this is a simple function to uh, differentiate. We know it's going to be 6x minus 2. The other one, dy du, is d du, and the expression for y we see above is u at power minus 2. So now, obviously, we need to apply the power rule. So the result is the power itself, minus 2, times u at power minus 2 minus 1, which is minus 3, times the derivative d du of u. I'm writing it explicitly like that because you might be used to the independent variable x instead of uh, this u, but the derivative of any function in regards to itself is going to be 1. So this is 1 as well. So the result here is minus 2 u at power minus 3. Now we are ready to calculate the um, derivative of y in regards to x. So dy dx is going to be equal to the product of those expressions we calculated earlier. So minus 2 times u at power minus 3 times 6x minus 2. u is going to be replaced with the expression in regards to x. So 
that's going to be minus 2 times uh, 3x squared minus 2x at power minus 3 times the second parenthesis remains as it was 6x minus 2. The negative exponent doesn't look very good so we're going to put that in the denominator to make it positive. So this expression is going to continue to be minus 2 times 6x minus 2 over 3x squared minus 2 at power 3. That's how we got rid of the negative in front of that exponent. And now we try to simplify this expression even more. I notice that the expression in the uh, parentheses has a common factor of 2 and I'm also going to want to get rid of this negative sign in front of the expression by putting it inside the parentheses. So that's going to result into 4 times 1 minus 3x. And in the denominator I also notice that I have a common factor of x so I'm going to pull that out of the parentheses as well and uh, we're going to have x at power 3 because everything in that expression is at power 3 times 3x minus 2 at power 3. This is a rather simpler expression of the derivative dy dx. Uh, don't forget this is not the last thing we need to determine here rather we need to evaluate the value of this expression when x equals to 1. So dy dx when x equals 1 using the proper notation is going to be we take this expression that we just determined and replace x with 1. So it's going to be 4 times 1 minus 3 times 1 over 1 at power 3 times 3 times 1 minus 2 at power 3. You see how I have 1 minus 3 times 1 which is 3 so it's minus 2 times 4 gives us minus 8 over 1 at power 3 is 1 and in the parentheses I have 3 times 1 which is 3 minus 2 it's 1 again at power 3 it's 1 so the denominator altogether is 1 so our result is going to be minus 8 this is what we needed to determine this is how you apply the chain rule using the Leibniz notation I hope you found this useful thanks for watching